Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In the last few years, React.js has become so popular in front-end development, so I have decided to make a couple of videos about it, and today we will talk about how to install React.js on your computer. Before we begin, let me give you a short introduction about what React is. React.js is today's most popular JavaScript library for building user interfaces, which has created by Facebook. If you visit Google Trends, you will see that how React's popularity has increased in the last couple of years. I've covered more details about React in my article, Introduction to React.js. I'll put down the link below in the description part and you can check it later. Okay, so now let's see how to install React in our computer. There are different ways to do that, and I will use the most common way, which I also think is the easiest way, with an open source project called Create React App. It's easy because you can install React and all the other dependencies with only one single command. But before that, you need to have Yarn or Node Package Manager (NPM) on your system. I'm using npm, so if you don't have it, just visit the Node.js official website and click on the download button, and then you can install it. After the installation is completed, open your terminal or command line interface and type npm-v. So you can see the version of npm you have. Create React App project requires npx. And according to the document, npx comes with npm version 5.2 or higher, so it's better to keep the updated version of npm on your computer. I have uh, npm version 6.4, so I will be able to install it. You can also find more details about it in the documentation part of the project. I also put down the link below in the description part. Okay, so if your npm setup is completed, now you can install React in your computer by typing the following command npx create react app and the name of your application my new app for example and the installation is started I am skipping this part okay the installation has completed and that's everything you need to do about installation it's actually that simple the next thing we can do now is to run the project and there is a suggestion here. We just need to navigate to the path where your project has installed. And finally, to run the project on your local server, type npm start. And this command should open your browser's page and run your project on your local. So let's see. So if you can see this page or something similar to it, congratulations, your React app has installed correctly and is working. Before conclusion, let's head to the project source code that we have installed and see how it looks like. I'm using VS Code Editor. It's fine if you have another code editor, but I strongly recommend to use uh, VS Code Editor. And here we can see our project's file structure. When I go into the source folder, we can see the source code of our project. And now I am heading to the app.js file. And what we here see is that a different kind of syntax, like HTML, is running inside a JavaScript function. So if you are completely new to React, this can be confusing at the beginning, because React has a different kind of syntax which is called as JSX, a very important part of React's uh, syntax, and it's crucial to understand if you are building React.js applications. And in the second part of my tutorial series, we will talk more about this JSX syntax. So don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.